Now that doesn't light up until I put the electrics on uh, for the back of the van. Now what you actually do is you push that all the way up, obviously the higher you need to get a signal. So you unscrew that bit there, that there and push it up. But what I want to do, and I've been meaning to do it for a while, is uh, just centre the, the actual top of the aerial so I know when it's down it's in a forward position rather than catching it on the side of the van or anything like that. So I'm going to mark it there with a, a permanent marker. I've bought a permanent marker just to put a line across there. So let's go on the roof and make sure we're fully aligned. I'll loosen that and then I'll align it and then mark it and then we'll sort that, the TV out then. So let's do that. All my electrics. The solar panel comes into there. So I know now that that is in a straight line. That's all I needed. In fact, that might wear out in time to come. So I'll just put one here because that's going to go through there. So, right. So I now know if I put that aerial up and turn it that way around, about halfway, tighten up, tighten that one up. Then we'll turn the electrics on. Now the lights have come on. And that red light's come on now. Come on, Benji. Now then, let's get the TV. I'll keep it there. So there's the TV. Extension lead from that cupboard to there. Plug it in. Aerial wire. Obviously from the aerial. Right, we've got, it's actually a 150 watt inverter. I thought it was uh, 100 watt, it's 150. And that TV is 45 watts. So what we're going to do, plug this, I'll show you this cigarette lighter and then you'll know what it's going into. So it's going in there. Right, I'm trying to hold the light and the phone, there we go. So it has USB on the front there, as well as the plug. So, if I plug that in there, you'll hear the fan come on. Oh, so that's the fan. So I had to shut that cupboard. There you go, if you stand over here, you can hardly hear it. And when the TV's on, you won't hear it at all. Right, so it's coming on. Uh, picture, sound settings. Oh, install and retune, that's what we need. Click first time installation. Still suffering with flu. 
choose your language, English, UK, automatic channel scan. Right, so that's now scanning channels. Now, whenever you move the van to a different area or, you know, even not so far away, you probably have to retune your TV every single time you go anywhere. So, when we went to Scotland, to, to Loch Lomond, you have to retune there, you go to Livingstone, you have to retune there, you go to Edinburgh, retune at Edinburgh. Go, anywhere you go, you'll probably need to retune. So, this should have the best signal ever with that, that tower nearby. Um, while that's doing that, one quick thing I did want to tell you, because I've been reading it in the news lately. I obviously track my van with a mobile phone. I hide a phone in the van and I, I track it. But something you need to be aware of with a tracker, if you send your car, van or anything, camper van, motor or whatever it is, to a mechanic to be repaired and that mechanic test drives it down the street, you need to tell him that you've got a tracker in that vehicle and that you're able to track him or whoever it is or her, anybody that lends your motorhome or car or anything, if you've got a tracker on it, you need to tell them that you've got a tracker. Because if not, you can go to jail, you can go to prison for it. In England, it's a, it's a prisonable offence to track somebody without their permission. So you need to be telling them that you've got a GPS enabled tracker. And the good thing is, if you did that with a garage, it's going to make them keep to the speed limit, look after your, your vehicle and not be going mad. So it's twofold really, but the main thing is you have to tell them that there's, you've got a tracker and you're tracking the vehicle. Right, that said, just bear that in mind for whenever. Uh, well, uh, let's have a look at the TV. So, UK, UK, any, any. Not bothered about regions. Yeah, bear that in mind about a tracker. If you have a tracker in your motorhome, be sure to tell anybody that lends your motorhome or whatever or drives it that you've got a tracker and they need to know. So there you go. 240 volt TV plugged into an extension, plugged into a 150 watt Argos inverter, and this is a 45 watt LED TV. Don't need my glasses on now, I've tuned it. So there you go, TV. I do have a 12 volt TV in there, but it's a, it's about that big. I just can't see it. And if I sit there, you know, it goes on the wall there. I, I have no chance of, of watching it. So this is why we got this. So and it, I know it's 45 watts, 150 watt inverter. So I could charge a phone in there at the same time. It wouldn't do any harm. And you don't, I can't hear it now, but I'll turn the telly up a little bit, it's, the sound's gone, so, and that's our TV set up. So if I was to start the engine now, everything would go off, all these electrics would go off. Um, so, you know, if the step's out, you get a beeping noise, the step will come in, all the lights will go out. Uh, that's just by starting the engine, so nothing back here will work with the engine going at the front. I haven't put the heating on, so it's, it's a bit cold up north. Uh, took Benji for a walk didn't we? Went for a nice walk. Hey, did you enjoy that? We're not going again, it's freezing. We're showing him how TV works in the motorhome. Right, until we meet again, I'll see you soon. And if you like any of the videos or you're getting any information from them, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up uh, and we'll, we'll just keep going. Uh, and I'll see you soon. So it's bye from me, bye from Benji. Bye from Benji, see you soon.